Okay, I have a moment here. Tell you guys quickly what I'm doing. I am gonna try to do the Dipsy Trail from Mill Valley to Stinson Beach. I'm gonna do the double Dipsy, so that means go to Stinson Beach and back. It's like seven miles or a little over seven miles each way. Um, I did just do the stairs and I wanted to tell you guys what I was doing on the stairs, but there's so many people around and it was kind of hard and I was out of breath, so. Quickly though, this is what it looks like driving into Mill Valley. It's cutest little town and I did start the trail at Old Mill Park. So this is the very beginning of the Dipsy Trail. It starts with, I can double check, I think it's 700 stairs. So this video begins after all of those stairs. <laughs> I have to keep checking my map at this particular spot. I have to go up something called Walsh Road. <laughs> Didn't need to check the map for that. As I do this trail, it's going to take me all day. I'm also going to tell you guys about how the last three months have been. And I know a lot of our TikTok followers are really interested and curious about what's going on. So I'm going to tell you what's been going on as I hike this trail. Right off the bat, Dipsy Trail is really well marked. Take a look at this, already so pretty. Like, is that not like a fairy tale? That's a good sign. So just after mile one, then you already get a real, real pretty view. There is a somewhat busy road you have to cross. This is your view as soon as you get to the other side. <laughs> I'm already regretting not bringing, I brought my chargers, but no battery packs. All right, so I think I go down there and keep going all the way to the ocean and then I'm going to have to come back, so it's going to be a bit of a day. No dogs on trail. Oh, lame. <laughs> all right, I think I'm finally in a good spot. I can't hear anybody around me. Let's go back to August. I had about three weeks left until my lease was ending. Very difficult to find a place in Tahoe City when you have 120 pound dog finding a place to rent becomes extremely difficult so my divorce keeps getting continued i've just broken up with my boyfriend and of like a little over a year well everything seemed very grim and i was really afraid of um, how i could figure everything out mom was coming from canada and everything was going to be all rosy eventually i, I knew it would get figured out within two days all of those problems i just described became the least of my problems it's august 3rd i'm very excited at this time haven't seen my mom in a while since christmas and excited to start really getting back into recording video making kind of vlog style cute stories of iris's adventures mine and iris's adventures me and iris had driven up the night before so that we didn't have to drive from tahoe city to san francisco pick up my mom to drive back so I wake up August 3rd, gonna have like all day to kind of hang out and chill with Iris and show her around the city. She's been there lots, but just have a nice relaxing day. And I wake up and go to the, I hope I run in, I don't run into anyone at this point on the trail. Um, and I could tell right away that something was wrong. Um, she had passed away because her, her little tongue was sticking out and you could just tell. It doesn't make it any more horrifying or less horrifying, but because I was so excited, I do have the video which I started recording before I even sat up. So I kind of crawled down the bed and, and that's where I discovered that Iris had uh, passed away. So I immediately called my dad. My mom had just boarded her flight. My dad does call her in time, which I don't know if that was a good or a bad idea because she just sobbed the whole five hour flight. He called the person I had broken up with and they quickly had some friends um, come stay with me and help and figure out what you do when your dog passes away. Or if it's a little dog, that's one thing, but when it's a dog that's heavier than you, that makes everything a little more complicated. I, I didn't know even where to start. I had also been thinking that I wanted an autopsy, but I decided against the autopsy. Um, one second, I'm coming to a little place and I gotta make sure I'm going the right direction. So, friends come over, they're trying to help. Um, I'm obviously devastated. The person I had been dating, been in Canada for the last 
like weeks, they decide to fly back immediately, which was a nice thought. No, know what you're thinking. Wow, your mom's coming to town. The person you broke up with is flying in. You have friends to support you. Things are good. I would agree. Things, I mean, I won't say things are good. <laughs> Still have all the other stuff I talked about before going on. But in the grand scheme, things could be worse. They got worse. <laughs> my parents really didn't like the guy. I'm about to go first drop off my dog that just passed away so suddenly at seven years old straight to the airport to pick up my mom who was coming to help me find a place within three weeks which I'll be honest is going to be a bit easier though that I didn't have a dog um I hate to say that oh, it's gonna make me cry but it's true I pick my mom up at the airport then I tell her I'm gonna pick up this person who she didn't like she made it clear that she was not happy that person was around. My mom had every right and was very valid to be upset. I'm not gonna lie, this, um, this little tripod thing I'm holding is kind of heavy. <laughs> so now we picked up the ex-boyfriend. We're in San Francisco. And he actually had things at my place in Tahoe. So it was kind of good. We did not live together, but he needed to get his stuff out of my place too. And... Another kind of thing that you don't really think about till your dog dies is what are you going to do with them? I'm not going to bury her in my backyard. Yeah, I dropped her off at a crematorium but asked them to... Oh, can make me cry? <laughs> Freeze her um, so that I could watch her be cremated the next day, which sounds really graphic and I'm sure it's not for everybody. I had heard so many horror stories of people getting cremated and then not getting the true remains of your loved one from the places. Um, oh, I, I actually did want to watch to make sure it was Iris. <sighs> Should I try and ride it like a slip and slide? I do also want to try and balance my story. It's going to be a little horrific, to be honest, as it keeps going. It does get worse with just how flippin' beautiful this place is. In California in general, I'm just always in awe. <laughs> wow, it's pretty. But yeah, this hike in particular, which I just learned about the other day, it's checking all the boxes. <laughs> it's lovely. If you're wondering what kind of snacks I brought for this full day adventure, I brought a big bag of beef jerky, three waters, some protein bars. Um, I'm wearing my brand new pokas, which I am certain I will regret. I cremated Iris. I watched them put her in and um, did cost $60 extra, but well worth it. Next day, my mom, the person I was dating, and myself drive to Tahoe, start moving. Wow, there's a really cool house that looks like a tree house, just all of a sudden. I feel like I don't wanna show you because I don't wanna show people's houses, but like, wow. I know what you're thinking, you're driving up to Tahoe, you've got your mom that's helpful, you have your ex who should be helpful, He's gonna move his own things. That's helpful, so things are good. You don't have a dog anymore, so that's gonna make it easier to find a place. I would agree. Those things being a little helpful in the situation. However, tensions were high. Eventually it led to me asking my mom to go home so I could just figure things out on my own. Then I decided, all right, I'm just gonna buy a trailer. I've got a few months until my divorce is finalized. I have a Starlink, or I got a Starlink quickly. I know why I was seeing houses because I managed to get off the freaking trail. <laughs> I'm not too, I'm not too far, maybe like five or ten minutes, but whoopsies. So, lesson learned. This little, um, here, let me adjust this. I'm on a dirt road, but I had been on kind of a similar road. Anyways, note to self, check your map. <laughs> So whatever road I managed to accidentally go down is still really pretty, so bonus. But if you do the actual Dipsy Trail, you will not see that big, beautiful treehouse that I was talking about because it's not on the Dipsy Trail. <laughs> what a perfect time in my story for me to have taken a wrong turn because <laughs> buying that trailer was not a good decision um, for multiple reasons, and I'll talk about that once I get past this mud tunnel. <laughs> my poor shoes. I knew it was gonna happen, so I'm not complaining about my shoes. I should have known 
this wasn't a normal part of the trail. This <laughs> slip and slide. <laughs> this is where I made my fatal error. Don't go down this road. Let's see, is it clearly marked? I mean, yeah, I guess I should look down and saw stairs. <laughs> Okay. How I missed that, I don't know. Maybe somebody watching this will see it and then not make the same error. <laughs> I should actually talk about the trail um, and how easy or hard it is now that I'm on it. I will say if it had recently rained, it would probably not be the, the funnest. Um, and you'll see here, like it's pretty steep. It would be pretty slippery, I would imagine, for somebody who's just thinking this is just a regular old little walk through the woods. It's a little more technical than that, I said, with mud. Just be slightly difficult. Well marked, well labeled. Coming into Mere Woods, I knew when I saw a parking lot. <laughs> that was a good sign. I am using all trails. If it wasn't for all trails, I wouldn't have realized how badly I was off trail. And had I been using it properly, I wouldn't have gone off trail at all. <laughs> as soon as you get to the woods, it's like all cold. The air is just chill. Oh, steep hike. Always in video. It doesn't look like it's steep, but it's like steeper than stairs. See a bit of the trail. I feel so good that I came out here today and actually started recording this. When I woke up, I was all nervous. Felt like I wasn't prepared, but also felt like I wasn't prepared enough to know exactly how to shoot things so that when I do edit them and piece them together, it'll look good and flow properly. But I'm really happy that I just said, Screw it and went anyway, because I think this is gonna be great. Also a great workout. Much better than just a road run. Hold on. Is that not the biggest slug? That's the biggest slug I have ever seen. That's my finger. Ew, my nails need to be done. But wow. <laughs> I would like to keep telling my story, but it's a little steep and I'm out of breath. And I'm also so thirsty, so I'll have a drink of water at the top of this hill and See if I can keep going, but great hike. Really pretty. Helps that it's a really warm day. All right, still going uphill. A little bench there would be nice. You can see the ocean, so still five miles almost. Just had a real quick thought about the fact that your dogs aren't allowed on this trail. My only reasoning that I think maybe that makes sense is if your dog got off the leash and it didn't have recall, it would be lost forever, I feel like. It would just go and you'd have a hard time ever finding it. So I guess for the greater good, but uh, if Iris was still alive, I would have been pretty bummed that I couldn't take her on this walk. I mean, she would never go this far anyway as a Great Dane, um, <laughs> but some pieces of this she would have really liked, so. Oh well, got our rules. I guess too I can talk about safety as I am just doing this by myself. It is the daytime. Obviously, I told so many friends that I was doing this hike and those friends have my location. So safety-wise, I feel very, very safe by myself walking as a youngish female. Not like in the middle of nowhere in Tahoe where I might not even have cell reception at all at any point on some of those random little hikes. So if you're nervous about that, it's pretty safe. Okay, I'm gonna have water in a second, but you can see in the background, still have to make it back to the ocean or down to the ocean. I haven't made it there yet. Being from Newfoundland, I know that that might kind of seem close, but actually doesn't. So curious to see what this trail, the rest of this trail looks like to get there because it feels kind of hot right now. Um, but again, I am super thirsty, so I'm gonna have some water and then keep going. All right, this is kind of a, I won't say boring, but comparatively boring, so I'll pick up where I left off. I buy a trailer, big mistake, especially for having never driven one or like a, a toy, not a toy hauler, what are they called? Travel trailer to pull behind me thinking, okay, I can live in this. Kind of be cute actually. California adventure, couple months, even find a place to park it, use my Starlink and uh, wait until my divorce is finalized. And also, while I had plans to go to Burning Man that were gonna be disrupted because Iris and breaking up with that person, I decided, you know what? What do I have to lose? Never been always wanted to go 
now I can bring my house to <laughs> Burning Man. Um, and that's what I did. And if you don't know what Burning Man is, go Google it first, then come back and ask some questions. But it is just, this is the most amazing place. I couldn't have had a better time. Yes, it's the year that it rained. And I know a lot of people on the outside, it looked like it was terrible. I had the best time of my life. Stayed the whole time. Didn't leave when it was rainy, cause like, why would you? It all dried up pretty quickly. Of all the last three months, that was definitely a highlight and kind of lifted my spirits a bit. I can't say enough good things about Burning Man. And then hold on, this is really pretty. I don't know if my light settings are done the best, but to really capture how pretty this is, but oh, just love it. Kind of dusting over all the stuff that happened with the trailer because it ended up being just the biggest piece of garbage in every way. And I lost basically all my money that I put into it and purchased it for. A lot of lesson learned. That's a whole separate video. Do I regret it? No, because I learned a lot. It was an experience. It was also where I stayed in Burning Man. So hey, I'll look for the good in that. But it is gone now. Oh, and I should say, I went with that person who I'd been dating. The whole point of this video is not really to even talk about that relationship or that person at all. That's why I'm not going into huge details, but some are important. So get back from Burning Man. A week after I get back from Burning Man, mediation scheduled. Anyone who's had mediation and divorce, you know how it is. It takes a lot of preparation. The divorce at this point had been ongoing for basically two years. So I still didn't have a place to live. Plan A was to be my trailer. And because that just so <laughs> failed so hard, I was kind of stuck. I mean, there's always things you could do, but things seemed okay with the person that I'd broken up with. Decided to kind of stay with him until my divorce was finalized. Felt like the right thing to do at the time. Now I know what you're thinking. Your dog died, that sucks. You went to Burning Man, that's all right. You didn't find a place to live. Not the end of the world. Yeah, you bought a trailer that didn't work out and you're trying to figure that out. You're reconnecting with the person that you thought the relationship was over. That's not bad. It was always positive things. However, it keeps going down from here. Even though I am climbing up a hill on the hike, my life at this point, it's September, it is continuing to go down. I shouldn't say continuing to go down. It's just more bad things that make life difficult are about to happen. Obviously I'm here, so not the end of the world, but uh, it does continue to escalate in the downward direction. Okay, so do mediation all day for my divorce. Really nothing happened in it. Big waste of time and money, unfortunately. I had kind of expected that to happen, so that didn't really bother me. Although it would have been really great if something came out of it. And to make sure I'm not just talking about my life. <laughs> Here's the trail, some cute little steps. I'm about two hours in, I think, at this point too, which is partially because I'm going so slow to film. I made that 20 minute error. I'm really just taking my time. There are people who run this and there is that race, which if I haven't talked about it already, I will. Okay, and it's like steep and stairs right now. Look at this big, pretty tree though. Oh, so pretty. Coming out of the Vermeer Woods. Here's a water fountain. Wow, some benches. <laughs> There's, I'm assuming, kind of that direction, Stinson Beach. If I go backwards, I think I can see the goal. No, that's not the Golden Gate Bridge, but that's downtown San Francisco. It is 12.45 almost. It does get dark like 5.30, maybe a little bit before 5.30, and I still have a little bit to go before I'm actually at Stinson Beach, so maybe I do need to boogie to make sure I get back before dark. I'm sure I will be slower going up, but hopefully not an hour slower. We'll see. Oh, anytime I look out at water like this, I always wonder how many whales might be in that little area that I'm looking at. Could be a couple great whites. Well, I've never actually been to Stinson Beach. I've driven past it or through it on my way to other places, but I have never been there. So I'm not going to bore you guys with constant shots of, well, it's not even boring, but oh, it's so pretty. Um, I guess I can continue my story quickly. I am just trying to be careful with my battery, but we'll sell. Ooh, geez. Mediation wasn't great, not the end of the world, but then I'm not really sure yet how I'm gonna tell you guys about what happened 
the, this particular evening, September 13th. Also my birthday month, something to look forward to. But um, yeah, let me kind of think here about how I tell you what happened next. There really isn't an easy or nice way to put it, but um, that night I was physically assaulted, pretty seriously physically assaulted. That person who did what they did, it's open, so who knows? What they did was serious enough that they could go to jail. Um, 